1986, and to now the Federal Code of Education and other related matters, 2018 SB 562. You may recall, Mr. President, that the Senate Committee on Tertiary Institutions at Ted Fund organized a roundtable on the legislative agenda for tertiary institutions at the beginning of the 8th Senate. Presentation at the roundtable reviewed major positive changes that occurred in higher education in Africa and around the world and provided examples of actions taken by some countries in order to reflect the changes in the national legislative documents. Participants unanimously recommended that the Senate should enact new laws and revise the existing enabling acts of all the tertiary institutions and the sector's regulatory agencies. This is one of the bills in this respect. The bill seeks to amend the act establishing the Federal College of Education in Nigeria to accommodate present colleges and their proper localities and also mandate colleges to award degrees of their own. Why not changing their names to universities of education, such as Teachers College Columbia, approval to be granted by the regulatory agency. The approval for the degree award should be, when the law is passed, be given by the regulatory, by the regulatory agency governing these institutions. Also, to make tenure of provost of college education to be the same as the tenure of vice chancellors in our universities, which is one term of five years for every provost as applicable to the vice chancellor of each university in Nigeria, as well as registrars, bosses, and librarians in college of education to stay a single tenure of five years as well as at each, sorry, I'm the purpose of the College of Education to have two deputies. One to be deputy provost academic and another deputy provost administration. Also, make conditions of service in the College of Education, College of Education to be at par with those of the universities. The staff of both systems are discharging similar functions. Example, in professional requirements, promotion criteria, disciplinary measures, welfare packages, and so on and so forth, including academic staff of colleges, colleges rising to the highest possible rank in the academic sector, which is uh, being a professor. So the intention is that a lecturer in a college of education can rise to be a professor, unlike what is uh, presently applicable in this uh, college, of, college of education. And to also generally reform teacher education by instituting measures to change the caliber of inputs and candidates that go into being trained as teachers in our college of education and universities by granting them scholarships, bursaries, or free tuition and maintenance allowance for these students in our tertiary and institutions. If you are the above, sir, my distinguished colleagues, I urge you all to support the passage of this bill in view of the importance in taking our educational level to next level. Thank you, Mr. President.